This is Vanus Enigma video mix number 146. Just want to remind you that I opened a new YouTube channel with the name Vanus Enigma Español. I created many videos uh, with direct translation, uh, one sentence in English, one in Español. But um, in the future, I think I'll change that a little separately. So one video will be in English. For example, this number 146 and then 1147 will be in on my other channel in Spanish. And then the next one again in English. So if you see always one missing number, it's on my other channel in, in Spanish Espanol. I'm not sure when I'll do the translation. At first, I want to upload some older videos. Um, just uh, actually the same videos but uh, with Spanish title and when I have finished uh, to do that then I'll tr translate this and the following videos and of course I have that third uh, YouTube channel with the name short videos Venus Enigma Innocent Crypto Kitty and just my last video was uh, the title um, 160509 coming out a cat comedy Satoshi Nakamoto um, Bitcoin founder maybe I'll just paste that now or later Lately, I've been watching a lot of videos, uh, especially FTM, female to male, about testosterone, and now lately about androgyny or androgynous, um, and hashtag unisex. But I think I really should create more videos because I feel the necessity to digest all that information and uh, when I talk about and um, just to the remember the most important lessons I've learned I think it's really helpful for myself and of course you can learn too and just now I think I should include in one of my Twitter profiles uh, the hashtag transhuman because these last years actually uh, maybe because of that, that unconscious gender identity problem or a discomfort I've been <laughs> behaving a little like a transhuman hybrid between human and cat actually more uh, identifying with a, a cat without gender <laughs> neutral gender gender queer so <laughs> yeah transhuman just now watching videos, transhumanism, agenda, illuminati. Ah, by the way, I think I want to include the word androgyny in the title of my YouTube channel. Um, at the moment, I've got the title Vanus Enigma video mix 
FTM. I just uh, <laughs> I changed it. Uh, uh, I included queer, and then I took queer back because actually I prefer more the word androgyny than queer because queer uh, people think much more of sexual orientation but I don't want to talk about that just want to talk about uh, gender identity and uh, just had a look that you are allowed only to change the name uh, three times in three months so at first I included FTM then I added queer and then I took back queer and just uh, Vanus Enigma video mix FTM so <laughs> in short time I changed it three times and now I can't actually I yeah because in the end I think uh, I don't I uh, identify much more like uh, androgynous then okay uh, they must talk must take to me and testosterone is uh, is decided I'll do it I don't know when because um, oh, long story another day I talk about it will take much time before I can start all that treatment because here between the countries Spain, Germany uh, many Christians who speak out against the transgender community forget about one thing in the Bible in the same Old Testament Leviticus where they talk about homosexuality um, they prohibit uh, many other things uh, eating pork and so on but I especially I want to mention about the custom that if a woman uh, gets pregnant for any reason and there is no husband around just thinking of one friend she got pregnant her the father had an accident in the street and died and now she's going to give birth by the way and the society has the right to kill this woman with stones to stone her to death hmm. and of course only men are allowed to preach in the churches so this is uh, this doctrine is easy to uh, for men to preach because they don't feel uh, the anxiety to get pregnant uh, my whole life more than 20 years I've been swallowing uh, anti-baby pills uh, in spite of not having any relationship always afraid to 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 have accident or something get uh, raped and of course um, many people uh, might be uh, might think much more of uh, the men who uh, do cross dressing uh, of course they are much more visible but uh, <laughs> if a woman has the possibility to to uh, to convert into the man hashtag #ftm female to male uh, especially <laughs> I'm over 18 I'm over two times 18 yes I'm older than 36 and it's not fun to be an old woman you feel uh, you get always more tired you have your sex drive is under the basement uh, you feel like I you want to close the door and never go out uh, it's no fun to be an old woman 
Anyway, the testosterone goes uh, less than half uh, from when you are 20 and uh, over 40. The, you have just uh, l less than half the testosterone you you used to have when you were were 20. And anyway, women have uh, let's put it around. Men have seven times more testosterone than women. Did you know that? But anyway, it's like the secret female hormone in women. And uh, you can help, especially uh, many uh, marriages break up when you, when the people get older, the couples, especially because the women stop uh, having a sexual desire, libido. So, um, I had uh, videos about one woman especially, she studied very much that uh, topic because she had her uh, female um, uh, stuff removed and feel she felt very bad and she studied very much that uh, topic um, and um, she makes treatment. Uh, of course, low dosage of testosterone or for women who are older, like me, for example, and it can really help them, not, uh, of course, not such a amount that converts them into men, but uh, it can really improve their, especially their, their libido, their joy of life, you understand? Just listening to the uh, video over the title The Rise of Androgyny in the Biblical Case Against Transgenders. Uh, I'm still, uh, I haven't uh, listened all, but just uh, some thoughts. And um, they said, uh, they show you Jesus uh, with long hair and like, uh, <laughs> like this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the clothes uh, the uh, people were wearing in the time before the sewing machine. Of course, it looks like a skirt for the men. And anyway, the Muslim men too wear <laughs> like a type of skirt. <laughs> no skirt, uh, dress, sorry. <laughs> and uh, he says like uh, accusing that they show this image. Anyway. Uh, the color of Jesus, anyway, <laughs> they often show him very with very white skin, and I'm uh, my profile picture is a <laughs> white cat. I must admit, but I'm a follower. Of, I like very much the YouTube channel Truth Unveiled Seven Seven Seven, and of course, especially because he's a flood. Flat Earther too, uh, not uh, of course. Yeah, just want to say that he. I learned especially he made me conscious about a Revelation chapter two verse nine about this topic of hashtag synagogue of Satan. And uh, the topic Israel, the Jews, black uh, whitening documentary I watched, I learned very much, was new for me. And anyway, remember, um, black people can have white children, but a white couple cannot have black children. Just want to remember you that. Anyway, I just want to say you just was listening, just listening to that video, the rise of androgyny, biblical case of against transgenders, and as um, uh, what I actually wanted to say that I think that God and the devil or Lucifer or Satan, however how you want to call them, I think they are androgynous. I like to watch videos where um, 
especially on a now I'm just thinking of uh, of Mark Sargent and Patricia Steer. Uh, I think they are cisgender. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, I think so. So I like to see both. And or or I like. Okay, I admit this goes in direction of sexual orientation. <laughs> But I admit I had always a secret attraction to endogenous, sorry, endogenous people. Anyway, I am living now almost 20 years here, Gran Canaria, very near of Jumbo Center, uh, very much LGBTQ community. But anyway, before I lived here, Gran Canaria, when I was just about 18, I made A-level bachillerato, Germany, and I just remember one boy, I was uh, some kind of in love with, no, I didn't have a relationship, but uh, once I invited him, the only and the last birthday I celebrated in Germany was the 18th. Then later never I celebrated again. And I invited him among others and his first name begins with H. And he had long hair, okay, like a little bit more than shoulder long and he was in my parallel class in Germany, Baden-Baden. By the way, Obama in his first official visit to Germany, he uh, visited Baden-Baden uh, Casino. <laughs> Once one was, <laughs> one was very angry and he drove the stairs up to Baden-Baden Casino. He wanted to get back his money. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is going out the window now. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to... I'm not sure which title I'm going to give, but now, right now, as I mentioned, I, as soon as possible, to change the name of my YouTube channel again, I think I'll include the word androgyny because this is I actually yeah I had uh, as I said before uh, for some time included queer and, and I took it back again because it's too much sexual orientation and I really really don't want to talk about this fucking sexual orientation I want to love myself actually I want to break a new record uh, instead of drinking fucking alcohol I prefer to, to uh, <laughs> break my own record to uh, how, how fast am I able to masturbate and get an orgasm <laughs> because this is really very relaxing and please nobody uh, I must <laughs> I must find that cat picture again it's like a kitty and it says whoever woke me up is going to die <laughs> because one one last uh, some kind of relationship or something and fell asleep or something and he woke me up and I was so actually anyway I wanted him to leave already but when he woke me up oh, I want I really like the silence, quiet, I don't want to discuss, okay, you, you, ah, that's another uh, topic, you, why I disable these fucking comments, I'm talking and you shut up, okay, no, no, actually the most, maybe the most important, oh, okay, it costs very much time to review all these comments, and anyway, YouTube is censorship, did you know that, they, now, uh, several times, I read of comments that they took away comments other people wrote. Do you understand? 
They especially if it's topic is about hashtag let's talk FE flat earth. Yeah? Because this is this is taboo. This are uh, this is really Freemason, astronauts and Illuminati. No 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 no. As though it's what well, we will we will uh, censor. You hashtag YouTube censorship. So I really hope that soon uh, I just make a little brainstorming because sometimes it's difficult to find all these right words. I'm just uh, just thinking of um, file sharing, web torrent, and wait a minute. Um, ah, yeah, hashtag joy stream. This is a uh, a file sharing site uh, where you can make money a uh, bitcoin um i distributed all these hashtags in my different twitter accounts this i have in my twitter account um, at filmmaking videography edi video editing vj montage documentary time lapse Joy Stream, Theater Voice Over Give, Vine, B Project Bluebeam, Hologram, Acting, Crisis Actor, Hoax. And then on the Twitter account, I had some time in the hashtag sharing is caring, charity, and Bitcoin 2A. It's uh, like a new version of Bitcoin uh, BTC4, that idea to to distribute uh, Bitcoin if they don't take it you took take it back again uh, hashtag in Bitcoin 2a 2 is um two years 2 2a dos años español creative commons royalty free free software free energy Linux and GPL and G G N G N U P2 P2P and decentralized file sharing Tor VPN Bible video mix time is money V written together hashtag time is money V is another idea um yeah I made a media you can watch on my YouTube channel Vanus Enigma video mix um yeah at the moment the title is FTM but later I'll uh, put um, androgyny instead of FTM. Yeah, anyway, these two first, Vanus and Ingmar video mix will stay the same, I think. Uh, anyway. By the way, I want to remember you that I created this uh, community of single people, uh, which is on Twitter. Um, it's at C O S P V, abbreviation for Vanus Enigma or Video Mix. Uh, invitation. And just wanted to say, I think, um, if you like me, uh, identify rather as. Androgynous. I think it's uh, easier to imagine a life uh, living single and comfortable than if you're just a very cis man and very or very cis a woman. As I mentioned before, when I talked about masturbation, ah, don't tell me uh, that the Bible prohibits masturbation. <laughs> so, uh, what is worse, uh, masturbation or homosexuality? <laughs> and anyway, if women and men uh, straight a relationship uh, change too often it's 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 uh, i think it's uh, worse almost because ha have a look how many uh, children uh, get born of uh, different parents and anyway 
if if uh, people anyway they want to do the depopulation agenda so if people stop having children all the problems get solved automatically because no more children are born so still continuing to uh, listen to that video but I admit I get really some kind of angry and um, I feel the necessity to express my opinion. So it says like in Deuteronomy Old Testament that it's an ab ab oh sorry. Uh, saying it's an abomination to uh, the topic of cross dressing. Uh, <laughs> I was I was really an innocent uh, young child of three years. Only three years. I started to. W I only wanted to wear trousers, and it, anyway, it's more more security for women, for small girls to wear trousers, and not to get raped, instead of having to dress like a sexy little girl. Oh. But I just want to say, in spite of all these uh, Leviticus and Old Testament drama and anger I don't want to get pissed off of my belief in Jesus Christ my Savior I really don't want to lose my personal faith, okay? So I keep talking about the Bible. I will speak out what I don't like. Anyway, um, <laughs> now I remember Jameson from Jamaica when he said, Oh, I feel like I want to burn the whole Old Testament. <laughs> There was a time I listened very m much to his videos, but I think uh, many people might feel offended when he smokes so much in front of the camera. And as you know, my videos, I often don't show my face at all, although I do not smoke although sometimes I drink a little <laughs> okay now I have only one beer okay <laughs> and I really yesterday I didn't drink anything really believe me <laughs> I really try to keep uh, the, especially did you know that alcohol if you drink very late at night uh, your sleep faces REM rapid eye mo movement uh, REM faces will be really worse and you will not have a good sleep and uh, lately listening many videos about um, topic and testosterone building naturally testosterone and sleep, the importance of sleep and intermittent fasting in relation to creating testosterone at night. Just telling you a little secret. Uh, you know that I have <laughs> many Twitter accounts and I like to explore different hashtags on these different Twitter accounts so to keep control about how often I use one hashtag I have one whole list which is organized uh, by the length of these hashtags how many letters characters and then where they are in which Twitter account 
and now right now I'm thinking to um, put the hashtag Christian Anarchism written together uh, in the Twitter account community of single people till now I had it um, before I had it in my Twitter account Bible video mix uh, but then I put it into my Twitter account Innocent Crypto Kitty and now I think um, I put it there maybe I use it two times I'm, I'm not sure because I like to really explore many different Twitter accounts of course some words I have two times for example or, or three or four times especially now uh, that hashtag androgyny and let's talk FE uh, flat earth flat earth coin and so on just listening to another uh, video about androgyny and just uh, they talked about uh, yin and yang a uh, black and white uh, the male and female opposites and as I mentioned before I created this community of single people I think is a very important to uh, be able to uh, live by yourself and uh, be happy to to love yourself and be in peace with yourself and love yourself and be happy just uh, repeating these words maybe I want to include the hashtag happy somewhere I think that he um, hashtag peace I have in Bible video mix and hashtag P in peace in relation to that bathroom drama transgender unisex bathrooms I think I've got in the Twitter account comedy court JCCVW abbreviation for justice court comedy in virtual worlds uh, welcome to, t um, to follow me on Twitter just thinking a little more about this a yin and yang when a woman and a man are very much in love like they of course is mm. so uh, if they create a baby it's like <laughs> they both want to convert maybe like in that new human being to be one you understand and uh, this is like uh, now my decision to treatment of testosterone FTM and especially the most easy explanation of mastectomy I have these four reasons the most easy reason to explain the risk of breast cancer and so on uh, that my decision to do the uh, half transformation I would call it not not whole uh, normal FTM as I said um, androgyny so this is like to <laughs> unify this uh, male and female side in uh, one human being so <laughs> I don't need to care about sexual orientation I can love myself <laughs> be happy living as single community of single people of course it's it's nice to have uh, 
neighbors, love your neighbor as yourself. I should finally uh, make that picture, photo, bungalows. I uh, want to do it at, as the cover picture of that Twitter account at the moment. I've got one pic of the Simpsons. It's like one bungalow. Uh, I'm just listening to a YouTube video with the title uh, Michael Tsarion and uh, Mark Passio on Androgyny uh, of the YouTube channel or uh, Mark Passio, the great work. Um, just uh, made a screenshot and a minute 12 uh, it says like uh, later and what I wanted to say one more hashtag is um, a bipolarity or bipolar I'm at listening minute 21 uh, looking for the other side because if you really want to understand uh, the whole humanity uh, it's always good to look from especially these uh, two sides male and female standpoint anyway it's always good to change the point of view uh, there are several interesting uh, quotes like if uh, uh, the two parties I don't remember if they say male and female make peace in this house they can move mountain or something similar and the screenshot I made at minute 12 it says for every woman who makes herself male will enter into the kingdom of heaven uh, who said that? Gospel of Thomas yeah <laughs> that's why they banned that book <laughs> anyway there are many uh, books which are banned from the Bible did you know I just uh, li I'm just listening to that video again and I just found that uh, quote that I was looking before uh, just uh, starting at minute four and in the Renaissance there was a fascination with this concept as well the realizing that man is a bipolar entity he has the nipples of the female and there's a Y chromosome, the X chromosome, there's an understanding that man is both male and female. In India, they always used to show one god with four arms, which implies, of course, that there's two beings in one, in Shiva and Nataraj. In the Gospel of Thomas, this is a Gnostic Gospel, that means one of the books that was left out of the Bible on purpose, because it revealed too much. We read that Jesus in that book says, if two make peace with each other in this one house, they will say to the mountain, move away, and it will move away. A little bit different than the Beatitudes, a little bit different than the Gospels. Now the story is a little bit more enigmatic. If two become one in the same house, then you will have all the faith in the world to move the mountains. In the Celtic uh, mystical tradition, this also was center place. Avergahain, the first bard of the Celtic people, who was the pre accuser to Merlin, uh, said, Who but I telleth the ages of the moon? Who but I showeth the resting place of the sun? In his great poem, he's literally showing you that he and nature are completely unified. So, just make a screenshot of that minute four of Gospel of Thomas. Just going for a little walk here in Gliding Glass and just passing by uh, Apartamentos, Axel Beach, uh, sorry, did I forget to say it, Gran Canaria, aquí near Jumbo Center, and uh, it's um, 
I think it's 11th of May 2016 and uh, in a few days, today, wait, it's uh, Wednesday, on Saturday there will be the Gay Pride Parade. Uh, what I was thinking when I was watching so many uh, videos about this topic, FTM, and before I was really conscious about the word androgyny, um, which I like now much more than the word queer. What I wanted to say, okay, I can imagine myself looking 100% male, but uh, I think I would save this for really dangerous situations when I rather fear for my life. Like, for example, when I was sleeping in the van, traveling on my own, and sleeping in these uh, highways at these places and I always slept like with a knife in my hand anyway guns are prohibited here in Europe so <laughs> I always had a big knife so I think uh, that's why in the future I think I won't use uh, the hashtag FTM too much and rather uh, much more use the word androgyny and uh, ionisex and I just wanted to say I think I imagine <laughs> my, myself rather looking a little like Eric Dubay when he was uh, making a parody of Patricia Steele uh, without uh, uh, wanting intention to f offend, but maybe it's time to make a, make a parody of the parody of Eric Dubay. <laughs> and by the way, don't be afraid to mention hashtag let's talk FE flat earth <laughs> I've seen so many FTM uh, on YouTube I mean, yeah, of course the younger ones who are very worried and to get a prescription for testosterone um, it's true, often it takes very long time, uh, maybe one year. Uh, in my case, now I bought the ticket already for Germany, and I think uh, oh, almost uh, two months left, but um, anyway, <laughs> I think before, anyway, I don't get a, a appointment with a psychologist psychiatry um, then in Germany I don't have uh, medical insurance just this uh, emergency of Spain here although I'm born in Germany so okay may, of course they maybe help me much more but uh, first I have to go into the German system into the Illuminati, founder of Illuminati system. And uh, ah, what I wanted to say, I'm over 18 years old. I'm actually oh, two times more than two times 18 years old. Yes, I'm o older than 36 and I'm even older than 40 years old. Believe it or not. Maybe I have to work to wait till I'm three times 18 years old.
<laughs> or maybe first I should uh, prepare my funeral <laughs> because uh, <laughs> sometimes it can take really, really long and if they maybe decide ah, you are not apt to apply for license to get a res uh, 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 receta for uh, testosterone. <laughs> it's, it seems like me, to me like a, a apply for a permission to masturbate yourself, but if you get pregnant, ah, then you are the bad person and the society ca has permission to stone you, to kill you, because there's no husband. <laughs> Imagine if, <laughs> if you get raped or something, <laughs> you are the, the bad one. Just walking through a jumbo center, the Gran Canaria Mas Palomas. I just what so oh, this how do you call it? Collarin in Espanol. Uh, where these different colors of this LGBT community I uh, and uh, printed on it um Mas Palomas Pride. I think I'll buy one or two. One costs five euro. Two costs eight euro. So uh, maybe I'll have another look somewhere else. But it seems they don't offer this so often. And just to promote a little, when I go to Germany, anyway, I still want to sell my apartment here, Gran Canaria. But I am not uh, very active because uh, first I would have to <laughs> make some order. <laughs> uh, but all these um, all these teddy bears and uh, stuffed animals I have, they are guilty for the de for the cows and <laughs> for the lacking order. I need a new uh, house or new world order, new house order <laughs> in my apartment <laughs> before I can <laughs> invite somebody. But I, I repeat, I'm innocent. The, the cow, cows uh, is, uh, is created by these stuffed animals. Uh, by the way, I think when I sell uh, my apartment, um, it will be inherited to the next owner. <laughs> but remember, you have to feed all these <laughs> stuff animals. Okay, you have to wash them. But I've got the laundry. Ah, the, the other day I saw a funny, a funny uh, video about a laundries uh, that one woman who goes into a shop where they sell these laundries and lavadoras in Espanol. Uh, I didn't use very often that English word so I'm not 200% sure. But she says, I think Indian woman, she says, uh, she asks uh, uh, the she see, she asks the the employee uh, 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 is this laundry unisex and he answers yes of course uh, and she says I I wonder because I never see uh, a man uh, using the laundry it, it's it's always the women. <laughs> So, in my list of favorite hashtags, uh, there's uh, androgyny. Uh, anyway, no, I don't want to say first. Let's talk FE is a hashtag I created, very important to hide uh, the obvious flat earth. Uh, second, and before queer, I would say that hashtag unisex. Especially referring to that bathroom drama, hashtag a PN piece. Sorry for repeating myself sometimes a little, but <laughs> think of advertisement on TV, 
radio some things, especially these new new words uh, like a mastectomy, mastectomia in español. Uh, some words uh, you have to really repeat several times because before they were not very conscious in my mind. Uh, and remember me to create a video with the title Say Goodbye to the Boobs <laughs> before I do that mastectomy. 1605-09. The last years I was often feeling like this cat in that cage and with this bird on top. A look at the facial expression of the cat. Not funny. So don't you dare to laugh. <laughs> Claustrophobia. So the title of this video is Coming Out and actually I want to come out about two mysteries, not just one. Uh, but first I should learn how to open the door to come out. So finally I'm coming out to tell you that Innocent Crypto Kitty is Satoshi Nakamoto, a founder of Bitcoin. Cat comedy. So much talk about Satoshi Nakamoto is Mr. Wright Wright from Australia. Actually, I want to come out about another mystery, but I'll do it in a separate video. Just want to say that I like that word unisex and hashtag P in peace. Watch that video on my main channel, Vanusanigma Video Mix. Bathroom drama.